A colonizer. 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 Alrighty then. G'day you good motherfuckers, the buttsman here. There is one thing that I hate more than anything else. And that is division amongst people based on things that they cannot control. Sex, age, skin color, sexual preference. When you deliberately go in and try and break people apart based on that, I think that is one of the worst things that you can do. And there is a human being on TikTok right now that is doing exactly that. They have a huge following, a massive following, three million people. And this person is a fucking anus. His name is Modern Warrior, and he is benefiting directly, financially and clout wise, I guess, by being racist towards white people. Now you may say you can't be racist towards white people. Of course you can. If you judge anyone by the color of their skin and treat them negatively or treat them differently because of it, you are the worst type of person. That is racism through and through. And this bloke is the fucking cream of the crop when it comes to that shit. He's selling racist t-shirts. He's just being an absolute cockbag. So let's check him out before I do. Racism is never okay. I don't care who it's against, it's never fucking okay. And that is why I made this video, because it pissed me fucking off to see the way that this prick carries on. And then you read his comment section, it's like, yeah, you did it, you did it, you showed those evil white people. Mate, everyone, regardless of your skin color, whether it's black, brown, white, in the middle, whatever, everyone's just living their own fucking lives. They just want shelter, love, and happiness, and people like you are taking away from that. So fuck you to the moon. What is one way you combat racism on a daily basis? I'll go first. I don't move for white people on the sidewalk. Fuck. <laughs> That's not combating racism, mate. That's being racist. It's the definition of racist. Not moving, getting in the way of a white person. Why? Because their skin color is different to yours. What the fuck is wrong with you? Imagine if I went on to TikTok and made the exact same thing about a brown person or a black person or anyone who didn't look exactly like me. I would be the worst person in the world. It's fucking bananas. And somehow it gets 100,000 likes. 100,000 people looked at that and went, hey, yeah, yeah, white people, yeah. Modern warrior, whose real name is Lance. Nice name, Lance. His whole TikTok is built on the back of going after white people who he believes act in a racist manner. Now, a lot of these people are just normal people who he decides to attack. And I'll give him credit where credit's due. As a Native American person, some of the people, some of the comments that people have um, sent towards him have been fucking atrocious. Things about scalping and you're a native this and... That's not on. That's exactly the same thing that I'm talking about. Racism of any kind is not fucking on. Unless it's racism between friends. Um, Isaac, that sounds like a very white supremacist attitude. Whatever shall we do? All right, Big Bad Lance is shaping up to all the white supremacists out there. And can I just say this, you go girlfriend, um, go for it. I think white supremacists are pieces of shit. They shouldn't exist. There is no such thing as white supremacy. They are just fucking idiots as another form of religion. Now, what I will say is this. The problem with him saying that or shaping up to white supremacists is what he defines as a white supremacist, all right? Are you ready for his definition of a white supremacist? Anyone who has white skin. Y'all were cool with calling us underprivileged for decades. But the moment we ask you to acknowledge your privilege, everyone loses their minds. Okay. My problem with what Lance is saying here is he's lumping white people together. I've never commented on any of that. And yet I need to check my privilege. Are all white people privileged? What about a homeless white person? What about a white person with bipolar disorder or schizophrenia? Are they still privileged? Or do we just look at people as a human rather than their skin color? Is that a better way for us to move forward as a species? Okay, hang on, let me pause that. Fighting the masculine urge to wear leggings to the gym and excuse every girl of looking at me. Okay, I'll assume this is where Lance's career move is to hate on white men. I can't wait to hear what he has to say. But I will say this, I've been waiting for a moment to comment on what ladies wear to the gym and when they get the shits about people staring. Girls, okay, if you go to the gym and you wear tight leggings, okay, and everyone can see the exact shape of your ass, people are going to look, particularly if you're wearing booty shorts, all right? If I can smell your asshole or your sweaty G-banger from fucking Forever New, I am going to fucking, unfortunately, 
low, all right? Now what the big issue here is, how long you look for, all right? Because I don't want people feeling unsafe at the gym. You don't want a creep just standing there going, yeah, g'day, nice ass, oh my God. If you're staring for one second, that's fine. A quick glance, and then a glance back, all right? Because I assume that girls do the same thing with dudes they like, or, or, or other girls that they like, or whatever. But if you do it for five seconds, you're a bad person, you're a creep, and please subscribe. Because I got an eyeful the other week at the gym, I was getting huge, not, well, okay, huge, my version of huge, not this version of huge. <laughs> Better bump. Better, better. Fuck, of course Lance is the type of prick to have his shirt off at the gym, you fucking loser. You are hated by all. Anyway, I was doing sit-ups, right? Doing big old sit-ups, working on the old one-pack. And I shit you not, like a 20-year-old or two 20-year-olds walked up in front of me, right in my eye line where I'm doing these sit-ups, and decided to do squats in my direction, probably about two meters away in booty shorts. I felt so fucking like just uncomfortable because I didn't want to stare directly into her asshole. I didn't want to stare over, it just was fucking, can you not squat on my face at the gym? That is what I'm saying ladies, okay? And also, I don't know if you've seen this, but recently a lot of ladies have been posting videos of dudes checking them out of the gym and going, how dare you check me out of the gym? How Listen, bitch, if you're gonna wear nothing at all, someone's gonna glance. Don't stare, but a glance is just, it is what it is. Point being, men are pigs, back to the video. You have been calling every single white people <laughs> colonizers. I call racist, ignorant, bigoted individuals colonizer. And it just so happens that the majority of people who are those things happen to be white. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is proof right there that regardless of how woke this person claims to be, their beliefs are all rooted deeply in racism against white people, which is a thing I've said that before. Tell me something that white people aren't ready to hear. White people who are not racist are the reason why racism is alive and well today. <laughs> what mate if you're white and you're not racist you are the cause of racism okay whatever you reckon fuckwits you steal our lands you try to erase our culture our identity and our languages you idly sit by when our indigenous women go missing or murdered. And now you want to take our spirituality and our prayers and our songs. Two women show enormous respect by singing a song in a language that's not theirs. And you panic about it. Why Lance, why? In whiteness studies, there is a concept called ontological expansiveness. What it means is that white people feel they have a right to all spaces, literal physical spaces, linguistic spaces, even spiritual spaces. In reality, and not in your white studies, you fucking creep, those spaces are available to all. And regardless of what skin color your great great grandfather was or where he came from, it doesn't define what you can do in this world. So why is Lance doing all of this? Well, I'll tell you why. He's making a lot of money from him. This is his website where he sells hate colonizer paraphernalia. Imagine if a white dude did that with a, I guess a disrespectful term on that shirt. That would be pretty fucked up. Let me be serious here for a second. We are not our ancestors nor their past indiscretions. As I said at the start of the video, history is there for us to learn from it. And for the atrocities, we need to make sure they never happen again. We need to at some point as a human species realize that skin color matters not. And where we came from a thousand years ago also doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't matter how long you've been here, there, or anywhere. You're all one people, you fucks. Jesus, it's ridiculous. I guess all I'm asking you to do is be a good motherfucker. Ladies and gentlemen, be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East, we dig stinks. Toulou, au revoir, bye bye.